before we get into today's reading, I just want to say thanks to Keen for sponsoring today's video. If you are looking for a personalized reading to your unique situation, then I highly recommend Keen. I got a reading from Keen not too long ago, um, probably about a few months back, and honestly, it changed my life and circumstances for the better. Like, my reader's name was Samantha, and she was so genuine and so honest and very, like, straightforward and blunt, which I love, and I really felt comfortable with her over the phone and online chatting. She really took my feelings into account, and she just provided me with the just right amount of guidance and advice I needed about a financial situation um, I was going through around a purchase of a car and I wanted to know about a love life situation I was going through involving my person um, and everything she said panned out exactly like I was so amazed I'm so happy I found her and she really helped me through everything you guys like everything she was very very good very intuitive so I highly suggest you give Keen a try um, so Keen connects me with talented readers and astrologers 24 7 so if you want to get a reading from Keen like I did it's super easy to start all you have to do is create an account and you'll be able to choose from the hundreds of tarot readers and astrologers who are online right now each reader has unique specialties designed to provide you deeper inner and understanding to your situation no matter what it is so if you want to know about your love life um, if you want to know if your person is going to commit or if there's a third party if you want to know about financial situation career finances friends family whatever the case Keen has a reader ready to provide you the clarity and insights you're looking for. You, you just choose whatever reader best suits you and your needs and you'll be able to connect with them over the phone and online. Um, so as a new customer, you can get your first 10 minutes for only $1.99, which is absolutely amazing. That's up to $99 in savings. I know, right? Like it's so great, especially during these financially like challenge, challenging times that we're all going through at this moment in time so yeah just click the link in my description box to save on your first reading so without further ado let's get back to your reading hello my loves and welcome or welcome back to my channel this is love truth and wisdom tarot guidance i hope you all are having an enjoyable day wherever you are evening afternoon i hope you all are doing well so today i'm here to bring you another pick a card reading and today we are asking the question is there a third party now with this reading um it doesn't have to be another person Person, a romantic person if you know your person is with someone else committed married whatever the case may be then obviously you know that applies but a third party could be a behavior a family member a friend um, you know, anything that's just interfering with you both reconnecting or committing to each other on a physical level. So we have here three piles to choose from. We have the first pile here with thoughts, the second pile with family room, and the third pile with house. Um, feel free to pick more than one if you feel guided to do so. Just keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not all the messages will resonate, and that's okay. Just take what does and leave what doesn't. Um, I am available for personal readings. If you feel guided to get a personal reading from me, all the information will be down below in the description box. So without further ado, let's get on to your reading. Hello, Pile One, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the Thoughts card, this is your reading for Is There a Third Party in Your Relationship, in Your Connection with Your Person? And I definitely see a third party but it's not a person this is definitely a wound um some type of issue that's like keeping you both disconnected and i just heard keeping um your person disconnected from themselves i feel like this definitely has to do with some type of abandonment wound or issue because we do have that card here this person tends to play games with you and those games tend to push you away especially emotionally because this person is scared that you are going to abandon them so this person tends to like abandon you before you abandon them i also feel like there's a lot of resentment and guilt and regret here so forgiveness is also a big theme um your person definitely has a lot of healing to do so i think if you're not in contact with this person or you're in separation or whatever the case may be i feel like your person is strongly strongly single i don't think they're seeing anyone else this person feels like they don't even want to be with someone right now like they're not looking to get into a relationship at this time they're not attached to anyone they're not really talking to anyone i feel like if anything your person wants to talk to you but i do feel like if they were to come forward right now they would be in like this game playing mode um but this is 
the way they kind of act and respond to you to get attention so I do feel like again this person is very like or can be very like immature emotionally just because they didn't have the best upbringing and they didn't really they don't really understand their emotions they're not really connected to their emotional body this person is very disconnected from their like intuition or like their higher self they're really not maybe as spiritual as you or as knowledgeable about the spiritual realm as you so they're very grounded and earthly and like very like rooted in like their lower chakras but their lower chakras are very like distorted or very like kind of um mismatched or i heard broken so very like not they're not healthy like um the root chakra the sacral and the solar plexus but i do feel like there is an opportunity for like your person to heal i don't know if they're taking that opportunity to heal and i do feel like this is going to take some time like they're going through a cycle right now but this like progression i mean things are progressing but i think it's just doing it a little bit slower than you'd like maybe than your person would like but this definitely like this connection needs time and i feel like your person needs time as well because i do feel like they carry a lot of anger resentment um jealousy just a lot of issues honestly so that is what's keeping your person from you at this time i do feel like right now they're in like ghosting mode or they're giving you the cold shoulder or the silent treatment and i do feel like every time you bring it up or every time you want them to like be accountable for their actions or something like that it ends up in an argument or ends up them like criticizing you or maybe you criticizing them or them criticizing themselves like it's just kind of a mess it's because this person needs some time alone to kind of figure things out they feel like you should let them go they feel like you deserve a lot of good things and they're not one of those good things at least right now they're not in a space where they can give you that type of connection that whatever you need and desire and want they can't give you that right now so they feel like it's best if you like go live your life and let them go they think you are so smart your your intellect really turns them on they think that um you can be with anyone why would you want to be with them even though this person i do feel like miss is like talking to you communicating with you because i do hear like this person replay certain conversations in their head that they've had with you they just feel like at this time I, if you've helped this person heal or told this person or gave this person some guidance or advice in terms of like healing some type of abandonment issue or like forgiveness or something like that they do replay that in their head and they try to keep it in the present moment when they're feeling anger or resentment towards you or towards anyone or like any type of like lower frequency type of emotion um but to them like you are their favorite person we have here like you are the person they want to call when something good or bad happens the first thought when um they have news they want to share with you this person feels like you're their person but right now it just can't be that way because it's definitely one-sided i definitely feel like you're more open and giving than this person is or they feel like you're just kind of in this place where you're more balanced than they are they don't feel balanced if anything this person's very fatigued i'm getting very tired because we have that here um is not really interested in a relationship or like reconnecting at this time they're kind of like trying to understand like what it means to be authentic what it means to be like present and in their integrity because i do feel like they've had a lot of like moments or just their whole life has been like not genuine has been not inauthentic it's been very like they do things because they feel like they have to because of like they want to be responsible but it's not always something they want to do or something they desire to do it's something that they feel like they have to do because if they don't they'll be abandoned or if they don't you know people will hate them or the people will be mad it's like that i think definitely like some people pleasing is what i'm picking up on so yeah your person definitely like has a lot of like issues to work through right now and i feel like they're definitely like on the road to healing so they can like come towards you but a lot of old wounds and patterns are coming up a lot of fear and this person is like definitely trying to like muster up courage to conquer that and to face those or examine them and like figure out the lessons there and allow them to heal and like release and transmute those energies so i feel like yeah your person's definitely doing like a a a deep dive and is like willing to heal but i do feel like they go back and forth with like the progression of it which is why i feel like it's slow like it's it's very stop go stop go but they have made a decision to like be with you or to like work up at some point work up the courage to contact you to like start again with you i don't think it will be right away if they do contact you it's just to like enjoy each other it's for a good time not a long time but they do want a second chance with you and they definitely want to like be intimate like 
with you in that way like sexually intimate but i do feel like there's just a lot of things going on i also feel like this person's really busy with work and just like responsibilities they have in a general sense in terms of like just day-to-day -day stuff um like other commitments to like work projects family stuff like that but i think the major thing here of like what the third party is is definitely their abandonment issue um they have to get to the core of it before they can like talk to you and it's not easy because i feel like this is like a really deep wound they have and it's like i don't know if it's fully exposed yet but when it does get exposed i do think this person may go through like an ego death or like our dark night of the soul or something like that i feel like um mm, this is like detrimental to your connection them healing this if they don't heal this then i don't know if you'll be able to like reconnect with them <sighs> anytime soon this needs to be healed this is definitely a heavy healing and a heavy lesson and i think it goes in obviously it comes in layers all healing does in like small bites but the awareness i don't know if they're super aware of this wound right now and their actions and like them taking accountability you know what i'm saying for why they act and do what they do but it's like they're taking the first step i feel like this person's on their first step towards healing their abandonment issue but it's it's not again it's like the beginning of something and it has to do with some type of forgiveness so someone in their life abandoned them a mother a father an aunt an uncle a grandparent something like that and and they're not they have a hard time forgiving and they definitely have a hard time forgiving themselves for people that they've abandoned including you so i do feel like maybe this could be something you're dealing with as well or you like have started on your healing journey like if you have abandonment issues or abandonment wounds or something like that because i feel like you both share this wound for some reason or this person wounded you because they've abandoned you but that triggered your abandonment wounds and so now you have to heal there's been some type of trigger healing here but it's meant for your ascension and your soul growth and i think there needs you I mean maybe not now but there will be a moment or come a time where you both will have the opportunity to forgive one another and start with and start understanding where this is coming from and why this is happening and have compassion because without the unforgiven and the unhealed can't exist in a union so you have to you have to forgive when you're ready and you have to be like, you know, able to transmute any like lingering resentment, anger or wounds or just become aware of them in order for union to happen. So there needs to be like this true forgiveness because maybe you both have said like, oh, I forgive them or something like that. But as soon as you get triggered, it pops back up. That means that it's not being fully released it's not being fully forgiven because maybe there's still something that needs to be seen underneath that wound in order for it to be released which is why we have healing here so yeah there's this this is like a it's not heavy but it's kind of important and intense for your person and for you to hear this because i feel like you've been wondering like what they're up to or what they're doing or like what's going on with them and it's making you maybe a little bit bitter or it's making you feel like time is just taking away and they're wasting time and and i don't think that's the case i just think that this is going to take a little longer than you anticipated um i'm not seeing like a time frame per se because they're just starting their healing journey when it comes to this particular wound but i do think that things will progress in due time but there's a lot of like resentment and like maybe jealousy stuff coming up wounds that need to be released and acknowledged and aware and like where they actually stem from because they don't stem from you know this person and vice versa they stem from like your childhood or something like that or a past relationship or something um but yeah i feel like this person is working on projects something they're passionate about and they're really really committed to that right now so they're just kind of like trying to i heard like mend their lives they're trying to get it together they're trying to be better they're trying to like let go of things that no longer serve them they're just you know out here being single if anything they could be playing games with other people but i don't even think they have the energy or the time to do so because they're just not interested they're like they're really just focused on their projects on themselves on like trying to like forgive trying to be more balanced they're super tired they're not really if they do have time like free time i think they just i heard play video games or they hang out with friends or honestly they just hang out with themselves and watch movies or youtube or something like that they're not really like out and about as much as they may have been in the past or they're just kind of like keeping to themselves right now but you do cross their mind from time to time especially when it comes to like their wounding and their healing 
um, you trigger a lot within them, which is good because again, let that, you know, progresses their ascension and their soul growth. And I think vice versa. So, um, so yeah, that is what I see for you guys. So I'm going to leave it here. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this provided you with some deeper insights and guidance to your situation. If not, feel free to pick another pile. I'm sending you all so much love. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you all later. Take care. Hello, Pile 2, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the family room, this is your reading for Is There a Third Party? So this one's a little hectic and a little, like, all over the place. I feel like your, your person has a lot going on or they have a lot. They're very busy. So I definitely feel like there's a third party, and I feel like this third party could be more than one person for, like, 50% of you. So this third party definitely could be a side piece, um... It could be like a side piece that they have, like, but I don't know. It could be a side piece. And I also feel like there's like this, like, crush. They have a crush on someone that they are, like, hiding their feelings about. Also, there could be like a soulmate energy around or like a twin flame because we do have that card here. It just depends. It could be you could be all three of these or you're one of these and like there's like two or three other people. It just depends. I'm not really getting specifically, but I am getting like there's like a lot of different energies and a lot of people around your person. So I think it just depends on like what you know or feel when it comes to your person. Like how this person like treats you or like how you spend time with this person because I feel like there's a lot of like confusion and it's it's very I'm getting a messy it's very messy type of situation I feel like if you are the soulmate or like twin flame type of energy then there's definitely like a side piece and someone they have a crush on now if you maybe feel like you're the side piece then there's definitely a crush and then they have like a soulmate um twin type of energy maybe you're the crush then there's a side piece and there's like a, you know what i'm saying so i think it just depends but either way i do feel like this person i heard a lot on the burner this person has a lot going on they have a lot of obstacles they feel like there's too much going on but again i do feel like this person loves the energy and loves the attention because they have like options this person is someone that loves options but i do feel like this is also someone that runs away when things get a bit too intense or too serious or overwhelming for them so this if you kind of resonate with like the twin flame type of stuff then this person's in the running or like the runner energy right now um they're very like emotionally immature i feel like this person's just like very like into like playing games like childish games like they know that you're the one for them and they know that by running away from them from running away from you they're running away from themselves um, but this person doesn't like to be responsible or take accountability for their actions or their choices or their emotions. They, I feel like you're a person that can see right through them, no matter even who you, what you resonate with in terms of like your situation with your person, they just feel like you're someone that can see right through them and this scares them. And so they tend to run from you. I think you trigger a lot of fears within this person, fears that they don't have the courage to kind of face, but they know that they should because there, there is, it's very chaotic. It's very hectic type of energy, energy right now with your person, but they, it's like this person has to conquer themselves in some way. They have to like dedicate or like commit to the path of like their own internal union because right now this person is not really like connected to their feminine energy whether they're a female or male doesn't matter they are they run away from the feminine type of energy from that like receptive you know loving boundaries structure type of type of stuff and it's causing like a lot of obstacles but we have abundance here twice so i don't know if this person has a lot of money or this person is just feeling really abundant because they feel like they have a lot of options they're like in a very positive mindset um they feel like they have exactly what they want which is like multiple options i'm getting that really strongly um and they're very like in this place of like gratitude and bliss and they feel like you know they're just they're just in a, a really good place which is weird because it's like it's not fair to like everyone else you know what i'm saying it's very selfish type of energy i do feel like this person is very obsessed with you also no matter like 
where you are what type of relationship you have with them they're very like fixated on you very like passionately i feel like this person has a hard time like not thinking about you a lot of sexual tension a lot of desires this person's very fascinated by you but i do think they tend to run from their emotions like into like emotional intimacy like vulnerability they kind of keep that to themselves not the less not the sexual stuff but they keep like the more intimate stuff to themselves i do feel like this person may watch you from afar um but it's like they know they can trust you they know that this is like a connection that you that they can trust and like they know that you're meant to be in some way like you both were destined to be together but i also feel like they have this feeling that they were destined to meet these other people as well like i feel like this person is a little bit i don't know it's not confused but they're kind of just thinking like I have like so many soulmates you know what I mean like and they just are not in a place where they're like I'm not seeing this person like ready to make a decision or ready to like let any of you go or let you go or let this these other people go but they know where they feel more like trust like they there's there's one person could be you could be the other the other person or the other people that they trust more than everyone else if that makes sense um and I think this is the person that they are very like obsessed with I think they're obsessed with all of like everyone but there's one person definitely like I'm assuming it's the, with the twin flame that they trust but they're afraid of that so they run from it so which I feel like is for most of you is you but you know take it how it fits I don't want to like just assume like we're not all twin flames you know what I'm saying like sometimes we get mixed up in karma we have karma with other people or some contracts with other people that we need to kind of you know make amends and repay a debt and like you know break the contract and move forward so it just depends on your situation but there's definitely a lot that this person's hiding is what i'm getting really really strongly in terms of their feelings and um but yeah, this person's really abundant. I also feel like this person may have moved into a new home or something like that. But they're having, like, they're not in any way, like, wanting to let this go. I also feel like this person feels or thinks that you are dating someone else. Or maybe they heard this from someone, which is why they have the, like, side person. Um, They are hoping that you're not, but for some reason they're believing it. And so this is why they, like want to have options because they're afraid that you're gonna like leave them or something so this person actually does really care for you they feel like they want to give you a good life they want to spoil you this person's very abundant so they can they want to spoil you with like gifts and trips and everything you could ever want and stuff like that they feel like you deserve it and nothing less but they are having a hard time letting the past go when it comes to you when it comes to like i heard the breakdown of this relationship the breakdown of trust um their past is holding them back from from their future with you or with whoever and they just feel like they're too broken i'm just getting broken like this person feels like they're too broken or you both can't go back to the way it was before because it's broken but so they're just kind of in this space of like enjoying themselves and enjoying the moment and like being single they're not committed to anyone they may want to commit to one particular person i'm not even getting that really strong to be honest i feel like this person is just kind of like playing the field and like exploring their options but i do feel like wherever whatever relationship you have this person they really want to see you and they think you're very attractive and very good looking and um they feel like you're moving on and i feel like deep down they don't care who you're talking to but they care you know what i'm saying like they feel like they're the better choice or they want to compete for your attention and they compete by playing like childish games like maybe like hinting at you that they're seeing someone else or they're going on a date or something like that or posting on social media like them hanging out with like other people or another person or something like that like they're trying to get your attention is what i'm is what i'm like picking up really really strong so yeah, this person's doing the most, I'm not gonna lie. I also feel like I just heard the song Let's, Let's Get Married by Jagged Edge, so that could have some, like, additional messages in there for you as well. Yeah, this person, like, they want a commitment, but they're, like, not, they're, like, playing games right now, honestly. Like, they're just not in a space where they can do that, and I'm not even seeing, like, where this is going, honestly. Um, I do feel like you may meet up with them soon and they may take you out on a date or spoil you or give you a gift or something like that. That's how you know if this person is like 
if you're like the like soulmate energy or like the twin flame type of energy it's like also you'll know if you're twin flame because this person activates your soul to like healing ascension growth and like all the beautiful destinies in your life they're helping you heal in very triggering ways that no one else could um it's like the way you met or the way you found each other was very like synchronistic was very faded was very like predetermined type of thing and it's like you both meet each other in every incarnation so if you feel that then that's how you know you kind of are the twin flame soulmate type of person or you have a soul contract a soul connection with this person if not then you may fit into the other categories that i mentioned but you know that's still it's not like one is better than the other it's just that i feel like this person has a soul connection or soul contract with every single person that they've met right now just for different purposes and different reasons so like i said it's not better or worse it's just like different a different purpose and a different reason so it just depends on your situation but yeah i i yeah that's <laughs> That's what I see is going on with your person right now. So I'm going to leave it here. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this provided you with some deeper insight and guidance to your situation. If not, feel free to pick another pile. I'm sending you all so much love. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will talk to you all later. Take care. Hello, pile three, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the house card, this is your reading for Is There a Third Party? So I definitely feel there's a third party here, but something about it is like new to me. I'm getting like this new energy. So this could be someone that your person just met or is just starting to get to know. This is someone that's like a friend, but I feel like your person wants to be more than friends with this person, but I don't know if that person does. And because we do have friends with benefits here. So I do feel like your person wants friends with benefits with them and, um, the benefits don't have to be sexual. I'm not getting strong sexual energy from some of you. It could be it could be like financial benefits or something where they help this person out or they provide for this person or something like that. Or they like, you know, something where they're helping this person because we have here my shorty. I'm not yours. You're not mine, but I'll always be around. But this is giving me strong friend vibe. I'm not getting too much like sexual energy i mean we do have have my kids so this could be someone that they have kids with if you know that for a fact that this person has kids with like you know their um other person or this could be someone that they want to have kids with want to have a family with they want to raise a family together but i don't know i'm just i'm getting that for most of you maybe it could be that this person has kids with this person but they're helping their helping them out but it's not like they would want, to, like, they're, um, okay, what am I getting? First of all, this person's very unclear on how they feel about this connection with this person and their connection with you. They are very, very, like, hiding their feelings or pretending or, like, gaslighting both of you or something like that. There's something going on here that's, like, funny, but it's not, like, terrible like where they're like sleeping together they could be for like a few of you but i'm not really picking that up i'm getting that this person is helping out this other person financially or like letting them use their car or something like that where they're like providing for this other person and just kind of like allowing the connection to like establish its own thing but they do if they could have it their way want something more with this other person but they're not like telling this other person they're just kind of like allowing it to do its own thing this person's also going through some type of transformation they're going through some type of ascension or like ego death or breakthrough at this time or something like that where because this person lacks self-love and i feel like a lot of the times they can come across very like gaslighty i'm getting very like deluge i get delusional or like deluding themselves or you like very like maybe like narcissistic at times or just very selfish um because they don't respect themselves and they have a hard time respecting others they don't care enough about themselves they kind of like put everyone first basically but they have to learn to like help themselves and that that that's and that that's not selfish because they're assisting like this person but at their detriment and i think that what that's what needs to change especially if this person have kids even if it's not their kids i feel like they're helping this person does that make sense like they're kind of taking care of this other person's kids because like they want to be a family with them but i just don't see that being a thing like it's either i don't see that being a thing or the person doesn't want that with your person 
like but I feel like there's still things that are unfolding because I feel like I've, I feel like I'm like I just caught this in a in a weird situation like or something like that so yeah they're definitely friends though this is someone who's like a friend to your person but like could have kids either with them or just with someone else but your person is like helping them with the kids or something like that I also feel like this person acts really weird around your person but also acts weird around you like they hide they hide this, this is something they're not telling you they're not telling you their true feelings for you or they're not telling you what's going on in their life they're like pretending everything's okay they're like gaslighting you or deluding you but I do feel like they keep a very close eye on you on social media um, they're very obsessed with you. They might even like stalk you sometimes. Like it's like this person is just living kind of a double life is what I'm getting. And I feel like if you block this person, because for some of you, I feel like you've blocked this person. They want you to unblock them one because they miss you and they want to connect with you, but they do have like a fake account that they kind of stalk you from. Or this could be like energetically, it doesn't have to be literally. So, but I feel like this person wants to say something to you, but I don't, I don't know if they're coming at it like as transparent and I think the biggest like third party energy I feel is like a mother wound this person has a mother wound which is why they're helping this person with kids because for most of you I think this is not their kids with this person this is like this is like they're either like adopting the not adopting but like taking care of someone else's kids basically because they have a mother wound and I feel like their mother was like a really big influence on their behavior in terms of like providing and stuff like that and putting other people's putting other people's feelings and needs before their own like they taught your person that and now because your person is an adult they have like challenging connections with like the divine feminine or like mothers or like they almost want to like always rescue like a mother or a mother figure or something like that at the detriment of their of themselves basically and this is definitely something they struggle with internally and externally but um yeah it's it's kind of a lot it's just it's very unclear about where you stand with this person it's very unclear they're very unclear about it I think you're very unclear about it I don't think this other person knows about you at all I'm not even getting that um but in terms of like how they feel about you how your person feels about you they do think about you they daydream about a future together it could be that they want to have kids with you but maybe you don't want to or whatever situation you're in it's like you know it's it's just not the right time but the, so they're like doing it with someone else you know what I mean like they're like living that fantasy or that dream with someone else right now um but yeah they do think about like having it all with you like being together with you I just saw like the ten of pentacles in my third eye so it's definitely like going on adventures growing old together stuff like that but they have like some stuff this like mother wound in this like but again this is what they're like transforming or they're like clearing out of their system at this time but definitely they want to be unblocked whether it's literally or energetically so they can talk to you I think they definitely are trying to like break through this like whatever they're going through in terms of like their wounding like to like establish balance between their yin and their yang um because this person's really not that grounded or centered or in touch with themselves right now they need to balance clear and connect with themselves especially like in their chakras I feel like this person is suppressing a lot of energies a lot of who they are they're only showing like one side of themselves but I do feel like they're about to come into awareness and acceptance of their whole self and like what they're hiding and why they're hiding it and what they're doing but they have to be willing to like step up and like face that to like face their like masculine energies and their like feminine energies and to not always tend to be like the hero the hero in certain cases but like know that like it's almost like this person needs to like transform the energies or like transmute the energies of the rower into their higher chakras basically so again like an ascension a breakthrough you know, like type of vibe is what i'm picking up on i feel like this person's really lonely as well um like really lonely i feel like they're lonely without you they want you or they want to speak to you but they feel like they can't they feel like it's like they're not allowed or they're like they just can't reach you is what I'm really picking up on um I just keep hearing I don't know I don't know I don't know this person doesn't know like what what's going on anymore like they don't know about how they feel about you anymore this connection anymore they don't know what's going on with their life anymore they don't know how they got here providing for someone else that they care about but it's not like they really like want to be with this person they're just kind of like because they feel like you don't want to be with them so they like might as well like be with this person who wants to be with them or who like needs them they this person wants to feel needed they don't feel needed which is a wound but I don't 
and we have true love here so i don't feel like this person is their true love i feel like you're their true love they may have the courage or get the courage to tell you this but i don't know i think you might have to be patient with that for a little bit longer before they can come towards you or you know especially if you have this person blocked before if you unblock them or something like that but there's like this just energy like this dense energy of them like sitting you know looking outside in a window kind of just yearning for you or thinking about the future or just they're very unclear they're very nervous and scared and unsure of like what's going on in their life they're, they're thinking about the past like they're thinking about their mom you know it's, it's a it's kind of a lot they're thinking about when they have kids if they want kids like they're thinking about their children if they have children they're thinking about they're thinking about everything this person dreams a lot they fantasize a lot but it's very ungrounded but i also think it's helping them manifest what they truly want which is why they're going through this transformation that feels like a death to them so it's definitely like an ego death or they just like you know a dark night of the soul i'm getting more ego death though but um but yeah, that's what I see for you guys. So I'm going to leave it here. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this provided you with some deeper insight and guidance to your situation. If not, feel free to pick another pile. I'm sending you all so much love. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will talk to you all later. Take care.